Uh, the game before was Russian Ice Biome. Uh, for me, it was Russian Slime Biome. I didn't care about food. I didn't give a shit about Sleep Week for the most part. I'm happy about it. Why are you happy about it, Bobby? Has something to do with the POI system. Yeah, I saw that on Vizu's post. Hmm. You forgot to add name a dupe after me on your checklist. Uh, and they might have avoid, removed the void for all we know. Uh, the, yeah, we've talked about this before. Apparently the void was never really meant to be even, even in the game. But I will... Um, QWERTY KEYBOARD123. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah. I'm not... I'm, I'm going to be without the internet for a little while. So I may do some tinkering with debug and... I might do some videos for uh, YouTube whilst I've got time and no internet. I know, Quirty. At first I thought maybe you'd been banned and you'd made a new account. Uh, so when you get the numbers done, all games are the same. Shame. Exactly, Max. That's exactly what I feel. That's taken all variation out of it for me. That's a very silly decision. We'll see. Maybe it'll be reverted. Maybe it'll be fixed. I don't know. But to me, that's very disappointing. There can only be one Quirty. There can only be one Snake. If we just find our guys are now, and it's here. And that's it. Stream's over. We're finished. Uh, is copy pasting areas a debug only feature? Can you do it by making a blueprint and having the dupes make it? No, Bane. No. Can't do that in this game, buddy. Uh, I'm happy about the five geysers because I don't like the idea of investing a ton of hours to only find out that I wouldn't have a steam geyser. No, I'm I'm very much an opposite school of thought here. Very much. For me, a lot of the fun of this game was exploring out into the wild, seeing what you've got, and then building your base dependent on it. So, for example, if you went out into the wilds and you found you had loads of you were you were fortunate and had loads of natural gas geysers, then you know you could have a really complex and um, you know convoluted power system that would allow you to do all sorts of cool shit. Now, knowing that I can only build six generators off this and I can only get X amount of electrolyzers and toilets and shit off my geysers, eh, not a fan of that. I'm not going to keep bitching about it because, again, I've, I've got a lot of love for clay, but I will be posting something about this on the forums in a bit. So if any of you are interested, check the clay forums later and I will, uh, I will have put a post on there about it because I think that's a really bad idea. But yeah. I agree, I like the randomness. Exactly, exactly, Mentos. I showed it on the dev stream. I've not been able to watch the last Clay stream yet. I've just not had time. Uh, in between streaming myself and moving house, it's just, I'm manic. That sucks. Why did you rush the slime biome? In the last build. Um, because for me, getting an early amount of gold amalgam was really important. I would save my copper for building my machines late game and I would build everything out of gold. Um, and also, I like the buffer of algae because it meant that I didn't need to rush for electrolyzers. So, in exploring a slime biome early, I would find all my geysers, which would then let me get my infrastructure set up. Uh, qualified too, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'd rush a slime geyser. Uh, rush the slime biome, find all my geysers, cap them, and just leave them with the wires and the pipes hanging out of them. And then I would build my electrolyzers in my own time with the 30 tonnes of algae that I'd built up whilst I was strip mining. And more to the point, I'd have all the resources I needed to build all my machines and wires and everything. Um, now there's not really any point to rush out to slime biomes because your infrastructure is so weak. Um, to find natural gas geysers, you've got to venture out which means you need to have some sort of germ defense in your base, which means that you're going to be on manual gens for longer or coal gens or whatever. Um, yeah. It's a funny one. It's a funny change. Uh, well, when you're on the forum, say hi to all the notifications of my liking your posts. Oh, GG. I posted something on the forums later. That sounds like a threat, sir. No, it will not be a threat. It will be my opinion. I've given them my opinion on the closed test and every every step of the way, but this was a silly change. I didn't know what was happening. 
Uh, why don't you just build fertilizer and make a power plant? You can do that. I mean, Townkill, I've my last my last stream before this update came out. I mean, mm, hold on, let me just save this. Um, I I appreciate you might be new here, Townkill, which is fine. There was nothing wrong with that. Um, I'll show you my last build before the update came out. I've done lots on this game. I mean, Christ, we've done some big builds. But fertilizer power stations I have made. Um, also, noobs are spamming the forms of problems bottling water. Meh. Coal is a lot more abundant now, too. Yeah. My keyboard break. How do I change the scroll to click drag? How do you change the scroll to click drag? What do you mean, keeps? Marcus to shout out going. Got a whole new game almost. What do you mean? The changes. I don't know if this build's gonna load, by the way. This is this is quite a big base for this uh, for all the changes. <clears throat> Let's have a nosy. Not able to mop the dirty water. Yeah, you can mop as long as it's not over 150 kilos. Um, if it's over 150 kilos, you shit out a lot. Oh, look at the geysers. Yeah, um, fertilizer power plants. We've we've done. We have done. We've done fertilizer power plants. We did them in a big way. So there's 80 here. Uh, oh, this is a bit laggy now. Oh. Oh wow, the lag! Oh my goodness! Building lacks resource, 125. Planter box. Oh shit, the bed. Oh, there we go. Let's fix this up. Um, yeah, we've we've done we've done we've done fertilizer power plants. That shit's. That's a theory that I proved a long time ago that you could basically do make a whole base without geysers. That's not a problem. Um, that's not the point. The point is that you should be able to have some variation in your worlds. If every world I start now is going to be just the case of the starting biomes, the only difference, I'll lose interest overnight. Hmm. We'll see. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I need to give them some time. These are, they're going to make changes that not everybody's going to like, and I'm included in that as well. And they're going to make changes that will upset people's play styles, that will change how people have to play the game or approach the game. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Jones. This does not like being zoomed out now. Holy shit. Yeah, they're going to make changes that not everybody's going to agree with, but it's not to say that in a month's time it's going to be a totally different game again, and they're going to have some new mechanic introduced into the game that's going to make you rethink everything that we're bitching and moaning about now. So, you know, who knows? I already lost interest, came to Twitch to see if mine's smarter than mine, found some new things to do, but it doesn't seem like it. What do you mean, Mentos? What do you mean? We're just discussing the changes. Jesus, what a dickish thing to say. Christ. Um, to view, move around the map is ASDW. Well, let me use mouse to do it. Uh, just right click and drag, yeah, cheers, squirts. Indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Come on now. I shouldn't have loaded that build. Uh, that game, rather. Okay. Uh, let's get in here. I didn't mean that in a bad way at you. <laughs> I mean, they didn't really add anything fun. They just made it harder to get to the fun parts. Yeah, you see, I'm a late-game tinkerer. That's what I like to do. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Two steam guys is still going to be an awful lot of water. Two natural gas gens, meh, it's not the end of the world. We can use more coal. The only problem is, um, it just means more power to. It means more power to deal with the carbon dioxide that you're going to get from coal as a byproduct, and you're then getting less power from natural gas geysers. So it just seems like an exponential. Or like, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm sure things will even out. I mean, this is a little bit silly with the meal lice. How easy the meal lice are in the game, but again, late game, the stress from the meat and such terrible food will have an impact. Um, so there's that. Um let's let's go up here. Yeah, this should start pumping a little bit now, and then it'll stop. It's probably not ideal. Okay, well that's not the end of the world. We're probably still generating more power than we're using at the minute. Because I think we've only got two full use circuits at the moment which is fine I had fun doing a late game building massive hydrogen radiators to solidify my waste gas and liquefy and polluted oxygen to purify it yeah Mentos we're of the same school of thought buddy but I don't think we're the sort of people that the game is being directed at at the minute the game is being made as every man as possible I think so that they can get more of a target audience I suppose which Makes good business sense, you know. I, I understand the reasons for it, but from my point of view, it sucks balls a little bit if it's um, if it's all about the early game and nothing about the late game. So, but yeah, either way, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of people bitching and moaning at the minute, and I don't want to become one of them. Although I am one of them currently. Um, Things will change. It's early access. You know. I'm really looking forward to... The update that I'm really looking forward to is some sort of animal husbandry update where you can use animals in your builds and stuff like that. I know you can herd puffs and I know you can make hatch rooms and I know you can do all the shit that's already in the game at the minute. But, like, slime bugs are quite... Uh, shine bugs, sorry, are uh, quite a nice introduction. But they're a pest more than they're a help. Like, lighting is cheap. Lighting is easy. They don't offer me much. I want to see some really cool animals. And I've seen some in the game files, and I want them to be incorporated. I want to play with them. Anywho. Let's keep looking for this uh, chlorine. Considering we've definitely got one now, apparently. I should have noted how much chlorine they spawn with in the area. At life. Mech's dropped to 90% germs, so moved him to my decomp room. Back up to 96 already. 2k02 in the room. Nice! I wonder if they will allow mods like Don't Starve. Uh, Bane Death, there's a couple of mods already on the forums. There's a cool one I was looking at earlier, actually. Um, I might show you guys whilst they're... Whilst these are all derping around digging, I'll show you. There's a cool... Oh... What's going on? Someone quoted me. Hmm. Um, somebody's added a mod where you can change the colour of um, tiles dependent on what they're built out of, which is something we were talking about the other day. Uh, it is. I'll give you the link and I'll show it on stream as well. Uh, it's a really cool idea. There you go. Uh, let's see if we can get this up. Window capture. Okay. Here we go. So, I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at, but basically if you build an item out of a certain material, uh, probably the best images are down here. 
So you can have different overlays that you can toggle in the game. So toggle material color overlay. All right, and that.